In this Regents Chemistry video, we're going to talk about the idea of like dissolves like. So what like dissolves like is talking about is basically uh, comparing how substances dissolve in other substances. So if we take uh, an organic compound and try and dissolve it in water versus if we take maybe an ionic compound and try and dissolve it in water, which one is going to dissolve better? Uh, not all substances are going to dissolve the same. Not all solutes are going to dissolve as well as others in, in certain solvents. So like dissolves like is just a way to kind of decide which is going to dissolve better. Uh, obviously we could do this in a lab setting. We could just try and dissolve them and see what happens, but uh, like dissolves like is a way for us to kind of tell theoretically based on what we know about the substances if one would dissolve better than the other without actually trying it out. So uh, when we try and dissolve one substance into another uh, it helps if they have similar intermolecular forces. So we've talked about intermolecular forces before and this is really the key to like dissolves like. So if the substances have the same or similar intermolecular forces then they kind of blend in easier into that solvent and the intermolecular forces kind of match up. So basically, uh, if we have a substance that's polar, it's probably going to dissolve better in something that's polar. Uh, so here we have non nonpolar solutes will, will, di will dissolve well in nonpolar solvents. So basically, if they're both nonpolar, then they're going to have London dispersion forces. So a similar type of intermolecular force here is going to lead to better solubility. These two liquids are going to be able to mix better. In contrast, if we have a polar solute, that's going to dissolve better in a polar solvent. So again, if we have two polar substances, they would both have dipole-dipole forces. Or if it's very specific, they could potentially both have hydrogen bonding. So remember, that's a very strong intermolecular force. But either way, if we have two polar substances, their intermolecular forces are going to be a lot more similar than, let's say, we have a nonpolar and a polar substance trying to mix. So again, really if they have this, the similar intermolecular forces, they kind of just blend in easier to that solvent. So that's what like, dis like dissolves like means, is that basically we have similar inter intermolecular forces. So that's the important thing to know about like dissolves like. So this is why uh, if you've ever seen, uh, tried to mix, let's say, like oil and water before, this is what you would end up with here. You would have kind of these bubbles here that they're really hesitant to mix in with with the water and if you allowed this to settle what we'd end up with is layers basically that we would have an oil layer and a water layer because these two substances don't have similar intermolecular forces remember water water has hydrogen bonding so water is very polar, it has very strong intermolecular forces because of that hydrogen bonding. Whereas oil, oil is an organic compound that's going to be nonpolar. So we'll talk about organic compounds later in the year, but for now just know that oil is nonpolar. So if we know that it's nonpolar and we know that water is very polar, this is why we end up with this phenomenon here, is that their intermolecular forces don't match up well, so they're not going to dissolve well. So this does not follow like dissolves like because they're not like uh, intermolecular forces. Uh, well, I guess it would follow like dissolves like because they don't dissolve well together, but you get the point. So again, y this is this is a great example of really here we have some, some nonpolar substance trying to dissolve into a polar substance and it just really doesn't want to because, again, the intermolecular forces are different. So if we take a look at a Regents question here, uh, explain in terms of polarity why hydrogen chloride is more soluble than methane in water at standard uh, pressure and uh, given temperature. So really what we need to look at here is the intermolecular forces. To figure those out, we have to look at the molecules and see what, uh, if, what the polarity is of those molecules. So hydrogen chloride, that's just HCl. So if we were to draw a Lewis structure here, it would just be hydrogen with chlorine, so this is going to be a very polar substance. Remember that uh, this bond here between hydrogen and chlorine, we're going to look at the electronegativity. Chlorine is very electronegative. Hydrogen is not very electronegative. So this is going to be pretty much a negative end of this molecule and a positive end of this molecule because chlorine being very electronegative is going to kind of pull these electrons towards itself, making again the negative end and the positive end. If we look at methane, so methane, the formula is CH4. So we haven't talked about these organic compounds yet, but we will later in the year. Just know that methane is CH4 for now. So if we draw the Lewis structure for CH4, 
we have a symmetrical structure here, right? So this is going to be nonpolar. Whereas this HCl we said was going to be very polar. So why would hydrogen chloride be more soluble than methane in water? Well, water, we said, is very polar. It, it, we have the Lewis structure here, HOH, right? And water, we know, is very polar because of this. We have a big negative end up here and a big positive end down here. So water is going to be polar. So all this question is asking is, do you know the concept of like dissolves like? So we have water, which is a polar substance, and this is our solvent here. Solvent, because that's what we're trying to dissolve into. So that's our solute or solvent, and then we have these two solutes up here that we're trying to compare, either HCl or CH4. And basically we just want to see which of these two has the intermolecular forces that are most similar to this intermolecular forces of water. So obviously hydrogen uh, chloride being very polar is going to be more similar to water than the methane which is nonpolar. So again like dissolves like just basically says that if they have similar intermolecular forces they'll dissolve much better than if they have opposite intermolecular forces. So last question here, if we have NH3 and CCl4, which one would be more soluble in water? So really we just want to look at these two substances and see what the polarity is to see what type of intermolecular forces they'll have. So water we already know is polar. So we're trying to see is one of these going to be polar? So you may have these Lewis structures down already, but NH3 looks like this. And CCl4 would look like this with a whole bunch of lone pairs here that I'm not going to draw of them but these, these would all have lone pairs on these chlorines. So this is going to be a nonpolar substance so I'll, I guess I will finish up these lone pairs just so it doesn't look uneven but this is even all the way around right so this is going to be nonpolar. So already off the bat we know that this is not going to be soluble very well in water, especially compared to NH3 here, which we have this lone pair up here, right? This is going to be a negative end of this molecule, uh, and nitrogen being more uh, electronegative than hydrogen will kind of pull these electrons towards itself and then create kind of a positive end of this molecule down here. So we have a negative end, a positive end. Uh, NH3 is a polar substance. So looking at these two, if we're trying to compare them, we have nonpolar for the CCl4. That's not going to dissolve very well in water. We have polar for the NH3. That is going to dissolve very well in water because, again, they have similar intermolecular forces. This will blend in a lot better with the water than the CCl4 with. So again, with like dissolves like, we're just talking about the intermolecular forces. If they have similar or the same intermolecular forces, they're going to dissolve pretty well, most likely. If they don't, if they have very different intermolecular forces, then they probably won't dissolve very well together. That's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.